Welcome back to the Valentine Show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine, expecting you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. That's right. You read the title correctly. A black Christian queen destroys and vandalizes not only one, but three BLM murals up all throughout New York City. You guys have seen the images. That was just the first mural she did, which was in New York City, right in front of Trump Tower to make a political statement, because there's no reason it has to be in, in, in front of uh, Trump Tower, but to make a political statement. At the end of the day, everybody knows that Black Lives Matter is a political statement, which is just seeking to fund Democrats and to destroy America and to take President United States out of office using the black plight in the United States of America um, uh, and... and, and confusing people emotionally black americans confusing them emotionally and tapping into the emotions of people to profit politically and monetarily from the struggle of other human beings can it get more evil than that i don't think so beverly beating i'm gonna give you an update on what where, where what has she done where she right now Beverly Beatty, that's her name. I'm going to put a link probably to her Facebook page, which was the only thing that I found uh, regarding her. Her name is Beverly Beatty, and I don't know the other woman that's also with her. I think it's her sister or something like that. I'm not sure. But her the, th that woman, the first time I saw her was actually I was seeing her preach against um, anti-abortion, man. She was going in on, on anti-abortion. And if you want to save black lives, then black lives are being killed constantly in the abortion mills, such as Planned Parenthood, etc. She's a Christian woman. This is very important. Her main goal, and I've seen the video, and, and I probably you're going to see it on her Facebook page. But that's where I saw it. She is, apart from making these uh, political statements, what she does, these are sort of a political statement. She says that the main movement, the main reason for this, listen up Christians, is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is her main driving force to do these things. And at the end of the day, none of these problems that society is facing right now is going to be fixed by any stupid laws or anything that passes. All these problems that society is facing right now, all of them is because they decided to take out Christ out of the public and took Christ and put him in a, in, into a little, uh, uh, what you call this, into a little uh, drawer into their pocket and take out Christ out of the public affairs. And this, we're seeing the results right now. Beverly Beatty of Warrior of God. Not only that, she's home right now. She said that in the precinct they treated her as a queen, that they treated her, her and her and her sister, right? Great in the in the precinct. She said that the cops want us to fight for them. They feel the cops feel scared. They feel that if they arrest somebody, they might be also arrested themselves. And it makes perfect sense that they had literally handcuffed cops. We need the police. The people that are going to be most affected by a lack of and defunding of the police is going to be black and brown communities. Plain and simple, because that's where all the crime is at uh, for the most part. Not all of it, but a major part of these inner cities are black. Oh, my God. Something just went into my eye. Wow. Black, <laughs> black and brown communities. She's she did that in New York City. She also went to Brooklyn and the Bronx to do to paint them. Also, she said, hey, if you want to paint that, you want to make a statement. Right. Are you willing to put your line, uh, 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 your beliefs on the line for Christ? Right. And for this world, do you really do you feel conviction of what you believe? Go paint them. She said that you don't you're not going to get arrested. You're going to get just a summons, a ticket. And they're going to unless you have a warrant for you or something like that, then they're going to let you in there. But if you don't have anything, you go go paint it and make a statement. I think there's a movement that they're going to be constantly painting over these murals that these mayors use polit uh, tax payer money 
to fund these political statements. Guys, remember that we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers on the channel, and only with your help we're going to make it happen. How? By liking, by subscribing, by giving me a comment. Also, every Friday, 8 to 9 p.m., I have a live show, and I would love to see you there. It's actually a call-in show. Who? How many people have a call-in show? Huh? <laughs> Guys, God bless. God's been me, Valentine. I am out.